तुम्ही ये दियो हेलो करो हेलो जी मैडम तुम किन तो ये ते डाउन है स्लाइड भी ते डाउन लाइव ऑलरेडी चोले आशे किन तो स्लाइड भी ते डाउन दी ची दी ची आह इटा एकुन मुने हाय चोले आशे स्लाइड भी उटा मैडम लाइव चोले आशे अपने स्टार्ट कर दें प्लीज स्टार्ट करें देखो जी जी ऑलरेडी आमादे हंड्रेड और मार फ्यूचर आशे आमादे फ्यूचर आशे कौन से दिन पार्टिसिपेंट आशे हंड्रेड हंड्रेड प्लस आमितो आमादे चुभी देखते बच्चे ना दे अच्छा तो आपना वीडियो टाइम उन्हें स्टॉप करा आशे बाय वीडियो टाइम तो ऑन करने वीडियो तो ऑन करें जिसे अगर तुम्हारे 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 तुम्हार ओ ना आप आमी अब उस आपने टा देखते बच्चे क्या ना अब उस इटा होए जे आ आमी आपने टा देखते हो आपने आमा टा देखते हो किन्तु वीडियो ते आपने छोटी टाइ चले आए आपने वीडियो टा चले आए आमा टा आमी बंद हो गई है फोन अथवा डिवाइस तुम्हारे ग्रुप के अंतु जाने ना हो तुम्हारे ग्रुप पे ऐसे ही एक्सटीस मेडिकल स्कूल हाँ अच्छा एक उन की भाव में कोई बुशी टेबल हो एक्सटीस आपने एक उन क्लास स्टार्ट कर दें जस्ट कौथा बोल रही होगे ऑलरेडी हमारे हंड्रेड थर्टी सिक्स पर्सन ज्वाइन करे फिर से अच्छा ठीक है सर तुम ये करो अस्सलामुअलैकुम फ्रंटलैने जरा स्टूडेंट तरह का आज कुछ विभिन्न भावे जरा डॉक्टर तरह तो कुछ हो आज के जेज जिन्स्टन ही हम कथा बोल गो शिता हमें जानी ना कौजन तुम्हारे देर के उच्च तो इंटरेस्ट आच्छे बार तो कर दे तो वे आमी आशा करी तरह आमादे अमर शबाई किंतु माइंड गॉड भी जाऊँ मामादे एवं पिस्तूला मुन निश्चित बोलते सबा जिज्ञेस कर जीवन सब चे प्रिय व्यक्ति के एक बात के शब्दाय बोले तो बोले जाम देर माँ, आमी तो अवश्य ही चुप बंद कर बोल दूँ, हमारे जीवन में सबसे बड़ा आदर्श हो, सबसे प्रिय व्यक्ति हमारे माँ, ये माय प्रति जो दिया हमरा ऐसे तो कुछ तो गता तो कश कुत्ते चाहिए, ताहूँ लेकिन तो ऑस्ट्रेलिक इस प्रारूप देखते, कुछ पढ़ार नेक्स्ट स्टेज देखो, नेक्स्ट स्लाइड, फरुख तुम्हें पता है? जी 
जी मैंने मामी कुछ नेक्स्ट स्लाइड तो देखो स्लाइड तो मूव कुछ है ना एक तो नेट प्रॉब्लम है कारण है हाँ तो एक तो स्लो हो इसे मूव करें चाहो ना हाँ अच्छा शेड जो मैं बोल ची जे जी तो मैं बोल ची लम दे तुम्हारे देख के स्कूल आटा मुझे ऐडा स्कूल आटी शेड तुम रामान मौन है छोवाई जानो जे दोषों का निन थमो है विभिन्नो दोषों जो जी दिल्लम भी तो होए बा ऑब्स्ट्रक्टेड होए शेड कारण है कांस्टेंट प्रेशर का प्रेशर बिटवीन द मेटानल बोन्स एंड द फीट इन बिटवीन जो टिश्यू गुलु था के शेड टिश्यू गुलु स्किमिक नेक्रोसिस हो जाए आशी बिटवीन टिश्यू एक तो पार्ट स्लाफ्ट आउट हो जाए तो ये बिल एक तो फोर्ड तो ये करे दूसरे ऑर्गन है माचे डायनेटिक जेटा है जेनेटिक यूनिवर्सिटी फिस्कुल बाकी में फिस्कुल आते बिटवीन द ब्लाडर एंड बजेना � अरे हमारे पास वन है इधर तो सीरियस इंजेस्टिस इन्नुसेंट इन्नुसेंट एक जन हम बोलते ज़्यादा है वाय तादर कुन टेशन कुन दोष में तारा बिना दोषे ऐसा तो वो एक तरसास्ती भाग्य शास्ती भोग को दे रहा तादर एवं हमें बोलते दिस इज़ सीरियस इंजेस्टिस सफ़रिंग ऑफ़ द वुमेन एंड ए विविड एग्जाम्पल तो हम उन्हें एक तो डिवेस्टेटिंग डिसेबिलिटी जानना होती है शेष चला बोलते ना शारा वर्ल्ड है अच्छा अमन मन हम इंग्लिशी बोली कुछ जो दिखाई दी थी कि आशु तरह बांग्ला नाउ जिसके पर हैं मोर देन ट्वेंटी मिलियन वुमेन इन दिस वर्ल्ड आर लिविंग ऑफ दिस कुला एंड एवरी इयर फिफ्टी थाउजेंड � how big the problem is going. It's not only a fistula, but due to the cause, which, due to the problem which causes it, there are many injuries, damages, which takes part and makes the woman incapable in her life and also for further childbearing. I see, I always think that fistula is not only pore between the bladder and vagina, that drains the what urine, but it also drains the health and well-being of the woman. The woman who had a fistula, she had to suffer so much that her happiness completely drained through that hole. It is a major public health issue, though mainly in the developing world. Sometimes it develops uh, from the upper due to the accidental injury during surgery also. Anyway, when the work it occurs, it is a social emergency. It was, it was even known, the physician of ancient Egypt and Avicenna in 1000 AD described about the obstructed labor and fistula. And in this fistula, I told them maybe due to the operative injury, sometimes due to the complications or advancement of the malignancy, but in 80% cases in developed world, it is due to the obstructed labor. The beauty of that problem is it's 100% preventable. That's why in developed world, there is no obstetric fistula. And in 90% cases also, it is curable, but still women are suffering. That is the frustration. It is not a single problem, but it is a compound problem. It is a so physical, social, and psychological problem of the women and sufferer of the poor women. So, considering all these problems, we need to take holistic approach to address the issue. What is the scenario of a fistula patient? These are the sufferers malnourished small, illiterate, ignorant, village girls who is surrounded by bad snakes. Due to their problems, they became childless, jobless, selfless, and hopeless. And due to the problem of this incontinence and the 
bad smell they spread around them they became social outcast outcast of the family and also society they are psychologically depressed mentally broken hearted their life is a complete darkness they don't know what to do and where to go they weep silently and this and this the cure the hoping continue life long this tool is very really old since the women started giving birth this tool is there the evidence was in abs papyrus long long time before in 1923 this evidence was uh, described by and it was described first by examination in a mummy uh, of a queen of egyptian queen and i took in abyssinia in 1950 before 100000 is that it history of the fistula surgery in 1575 the first fistula the word fistula was used and basic principle of repair was first described in 1636 and successful repair in 1675 so can you imagine how old the problem is but maybe many of you is hearing about this today that is the tragedy of the problems there are pub- published report from 1883 and james marion seems in 2000 in uh, repaired a successfully repaired by her 38th attempt on one of her one of her patient who who was a slave anatta and she became the head girl of james marion seems in her uh, subsequent ei tumi to onek kichu ne pore ashe aro ja ta pore hello ম্যাডাম এখন চলে আসছে কিনা না আরো আমি তো আসলে তো আমি তো আমার সাথে মুখ করছিলাম আচ্ছা আমি আচ্ছা এখানে আছে হিস্টোরি ইজ ভেরি ওল্ড ইস্যু আমি হ্যালো আমি মনে আরো যাচ্ছি प्रोसीड करो हम देखते स्लाइड नोट से ना तो इतने लोग जीते जाओ एक पॉइंट जाओ मैडम मैं कौन ठीक है से आरो जाओ आरो जाओ नेक्स्ट प्लीज नेक्स्ट आरो द আমি তো বুঝতে পাচ্ছি না কোন সময় তো ক্লাস করলে বুঝা যায় কিন্তু বুঝা যাচ্ছে না যে আমি কি করছি আর আর প্রসিড করো ইটিওলজি দাও এই ই একটা আছে দেখো আর স্লাইড কি ফ্রম ফরওয়ার্ড করো ফরওয়ার্ড করো যাচ্ছে না তো हेलो फारूक हेलो 
If you think about the etiology of fistula, its main cause is obstructed labor, and the victim of obstructed labor are the girls who get married early, who have early pregnancy, and doesn't have any antenatal care, and any any birth planning, and they suffer from malnutrition due to the poverty and lack of education and ignorance, they don't understand about the importance of the uh, antenatal care or pregnancy care and childbirth care. And there is no preventive in injury. There, there is, uh, so, and there, if we take the preventive strategies, there we can, we, or during only pregnancy, we cannot prevent the root causes. So we need to take strategies to eliminate the root causes of the disease. That means Next, please. Road towards obstetric fistula. Here we will describe mainly the causes. Next, please. There are many medical causes, but we in the if I think about the root causes, poor position of the women, which leads women to be in a poor status and ignorance, lack of education. It's very unusual for you to see an educated girl who is suffering from this Next, please. Next, please. And this early marriage is, is due to the Poverty, you can see at the background there is poverty, lack of education, ignorance are the main causes, root causes. So, and this cause, this also leads to early marriage. Next, please. Next, please. And when the girls are not educated, they have low self esteem and they have lack of access to the family when they get married in early years, when they have low self-esteem, they don't have access to the family planning. And sometimes immediately after marriage, family and husband demands and decide the girls to have marriage. Next, please. And when they are in antenatal care, just think about the situation of the girl. She has a small pelvis, she is a malnourished, her body is not prepared for pregnancy. In addition, she doesn't have any antenatal care. So uh, there is no birth planning. And also she is the victim of discrimination. In she is malnourished due to the, not only due to poverty, but also due to the discrimination and of the distribution of foods and 
So what happened when the girls are in labor, they don't get any care, they don't have birth planning, so labor, they don't go to the facilities for the delivery, so they are in labor at home for days, hours and days, and the labor becomes obstructed, and so she, they don't have any access to the emergency obstetrics care, there is, they are the victim of three delays. Family take delay in deciding to transport them to the hospital. Hospital is not ready to take them. There is no enough facility. And so when they become in the end due to her condition, there is usually talkers when there is malpresentations and large baby in comparison to the babies uh, of the women. So what happened? There's the Hey, put I that so that for it, that for it slide it up. That for slide it up. Next slide, please. And take a second that one. So there is a small pelvis. If you think that patient is in labor for a long time, pelvis is small, but uterus is continue to the contractions and that leads to obstruction. And the fetus head get obstructed in the small maternal pelvis. There is only rupture of membrane, and the presenting part holds. We just try to force the uh, fetus out of the pelvis, and the presenting part then get obstructed between the pelvic bones, sympathetic pelvis in front and sacrum behind. And in between is the fetus, fetal head usually or fetal parts, which compresses the tissue between the maternal pelvis and this fetal bone. So there is due to this compression. Next please. This compression goes on. Compression, compression and compression. What happened? The tissue in between the bones becomes obstructed from the blood supplies. Ultimately tissue became, became divitalized and in certain stages after some time, so when the baby is by any way brought out, the a hole is formed between the bladder and vagina or between the rectum and vagina or both. Bladder and rectum, bigger and also RBA. And also due to the pressure on the perineal nerve, food and the nerves, there is obstetric palsy and patients develop food drop. Due to the continuous pressure, there is a development of the damage of the uterus, which leads to the amenorrhea. So this tissue necrosis occurs. Next, please. So there is compound. Next, please. Com com there is a combined injury, vaginal scanning, the vaginal scarring, stenosis. Patient also have suffered from infection. So there's a Destruction of the endometrium, there is a tubal blockage due to the nerve injury, there is a food drop. And when the patient has incontinence of urine, due to the chemical irritation of the urine, the vulva and thighs becomes excoriated and ulcerated. Next, please. So the, this leads to formation of the fistula. As I told, that goes to rectal incontinence, urinary incontinence, and offensive smell around the patient and offensive light. Husbands leave them, family leave them, they become outcast. Next, please. Next. Next, please, Farooq. Farooq, next, please. Anyway, I will continue. The slides here are not moving. Next, please, Farooq. Anyway, there is an injury. I told about the obstetric injury, but also gynecological diseases and uh, 
ফারুক প্রবলেম কোথায় বলো তো হ্যালো 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 I don't know whether they are listening to me. Hello, madam. I am on net. Let's go to the server. I am on the net. Sir, let's go to the net. 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 স্লাইড কোথায় চলতেছে আমি কিছুই দেখতে পাচ্ছি না হ্যাঁ এই স্লাইড চলে আসছে এটাই তো স্লাইড এনিওয়ে তুমি আগেটা তো দেখানো হয় না আচ্ছা ঠিক আছে আচ্ছা আমি ওটা নিয়ে আসছি এই পার্টিশনে যেও না এখানেই বলো ডায়াগনোসিস অ্যাজ ইউ টোল देयर इज এ ইনকনসিস আবার পিছনে যাচ্ছে কেন সারু দেখেনে ছিল ওইখানেই থাকে হ্যাঁ and there is associated symptoms also the signs are as i told next please paru the as signs if you see the patients these are short stature patient small girls which have hip next paru de chale jao we have irinifers is made around them there is dermatitis in the vulva and you when you examine internally you can see that urine is coming through the uh, through the vagina outside the vulva and you can see and feel the fistula so it's usually in most of the cases fistula is diagnosed by physical examinations and if you have any doubt in few cases you have doubt we or when there is a vaginal stenosis or a small girl doesn't allow you to examine we need to do examination under anesthesia and sometimes so Farooq next please and if there is a associated urinary injury you may need to do IVU and other investigations which you need usually are actually uh, for the, as a preparation for the treatment because the fistula the main treatment is subject but as i told these girls are male now we used enemy so when they come to us sometimes we need to correct their anemia sometimes they have uh, skin infections and other infections that needs to be corrected and then we have to do uh, we have to treat them so what is the prevalence of these problems and who estimated that 0.03% of all women who deliver especially in developing countries they have fistula but there is a wide variation of incidence incidence between the gap and the true prevalence as it is a disease of the women disease of the poor still is true prevalence nobody knows but in some countries of the asia and south east the africa and south east asia one to two per thousand delivery women suffer from fistula next please annual incidence i already told you it is develops uh, in in 1996 there is a study who shows it is 1.9% and in developed developed countries 85% as due to Uh, surgical injuries but in developing country 90% are due to uh, obstetric obstetric injuries next please when there is a genital injury like vaginal cervical injury there is some menstrual problems also sometimes women have amenorrhea sometimes have cryptomenorrhea there is vulval changes there is exploration of the genitalia urinary and urinary leakage there are, sometimes there is a formation of a stone in the bladder and also upper and lower urinary tract infection next please 
as it is due to the obstructive labor. When there is a genetic deviation, there is also, there may be associated anal incompetence or also for poor to the pineal care or associated, there may be associated with RBA, there may be associated muscular skeletal injury, neurological injuries, as I told, the food drugs, and also complex, obstructed liver injury complex. Next, please. So I told it is 100% obstructed, especially the obstetric fistula is 100% preventable. So how do we can prevent it? Next, please. Next, please. Next, please. As I told that about the root cause, so we need to address not during the when the woman comes with obstructed labor. We, if you want to really prevent it, we need to address the root causes. Like we need to uh, prevent discrimination at the childhood, child marriage, and pre-marriage counseling and awareness among the parents and the society so that the girls should not get early marriage. And also, if even they get married earlier, we need to address them at that time. Next, 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 Faru. We need, uh, community needs to be uh, aware. There should be mass awareness building programs, not only for the girls and families, but also for the, from the, for the all stakeholders. Next, please. And for that, we need to do advocacy at the policy level. And also, and for that, we need to uh, collect, the, uh, collect the evidences through our research and research. For the public, when the, if we cannot prevent the early marriage and early pregnancy. Next, Farouk, next. Next, next, when the girls get pregnant, we should at least give them adequate family planning and during pregnancy, adequate antenatal care, birth planning, fix identification, when they are labor, at that time, we really, really need to prevent it by proper management, giving training and developing skill birth attendance and also during labor, we, as a health provider, we need to use partograph. By using partograph, we can diagnose the prolonged labor at an earlier stage and also we can diagnose the obstructed labor so that we can signal of obstructed labor so that we can prevent obstructed labor and can manage the labor in time. When there is any sign of obstructed labor, we should do cesarean section and deliver the women by uh, cesarean section. If the women are at home or in the lower health sectors, like in the union level where there is, uh, where, where there is no facility for cesarean section. Next, Farooq. Next, please. We need to refer them to the uh, health center. Where there is a next, when there, where there is a emergency obstetric care service, that means services for blood transfusion and also for cesarean sections. So, if even after that we cannot prevent the fistula, this will already develop. What we can do? If we can get the patient at an early stage, we can do the conservative management by the expectant treatment, that means we can do the catheterizations and if it is a small fistula, if you do the catheterization, if you treat the infections by giving antibiotic and if, if you can maintain the uh, hydration and also nutrition of the patients, prolonged catheterizations can help in healing of the fistula uh, without any surgical intervention. But in many cases, after that also needs surgery. The main surgery is the local repair of the fistula. And this local repair of the fistula, you know, it needs 
simple fusculas are very easy to repair, but the complex fusculas are very difficult to repair. So for that, actually, every country should have some strategy to address the countries who have the fusculas by training the surgeons, by, by developing the facility for fistula treatment. And in countries like, um, like Africa, in Ethiopia, there is a fistula hospital who is completely dedicated for the treatment of the fistula patients. In country like Bangladesh also, we have some fistula centers. In Dhaka Medical College, there is a national fistula center. I have a fish center, uh, Mount's Institute of Fish Plant Cancer, which is 100% dedicated for fistula surgery and also other metal treatment for other metal morbidities like genital prolapse, vaginal stenosis, third degree, fourth degree, cranial tear. So the surgery where we train the doctors, gynecologists and urologists, and also we give services to the women. We train the doctors for workshops, on, for on-site training, and uh, we also organize some conferences. And so the local repair is the main operations, and most of the patients, about 80% of the fistula patients, can, uh, can get cured by local repair. But there are some cases where the repeated repair, in eight, not 80, about 90% of the cases, can get repaired locally, but in some cases where there is a repeated failure, where the tissue damage is so much that we cannot repair it, we need to do some sort of diversion, or if there is an irritatory fistula, we need to do reimplantations. There are different types of diversion operations, like uh, iterocolic iterocolic diversions, or ileal conduit, mains, pouch, or utrocolic diversions. And there are different types of mains, pouch, one, two. There are different types of diversion operations also. And when the patient has associated problems, we need to, uh, we don't like, like only to treat the disease bulk, we like to treat the patient. When the patient has associated problems, like food drop, vaginal stenosis, perineal damage, we need to repair that also. And some patients, like as I told, that like food drop, perineal nerve palsies, we need, we really need some reconstructive surgery and also physiotherapy. Physiotherapy has a very important role in the, in the management of fistula. So what we need to do? We need to do uh, a team approach. Team approach, team of the gynecologist, urologist, anesthetist, and also the physical people from the physical medicine. If we think about the prognosis, as I told, simple fistula at the first surgery, by first surgery, 90% of the patient can get cured. But depending on the extent of the problems or extent of the injury, the, the next 10% success will depend on the extent of the problem and also uh, expertise of the surgeon and also facility. There is, there is a gap between the closure and cure. Because in some cases, in about in 25% cases, you can close the fistula, the patient is not get cured. Because the urethra and continence mechanism is, is so much in the damaged that we cannot, the patient may have urethral incontinence. How we can address, we told, to address the, this issue, we need to do prevention, we need to do care of the women during pregnancy, we need to do social mobilizations, awareness buildings, and also emergency care and patient when have they have fistula, we need to do the special surgery and train the people, develop the facility. And for everything, we need to do the fundraise. Without fund, we can't do anything. So we need to have fundraising. 
and definitely poverty eradications educations and and the uh, and making the patients uh, and also we need to do the ignorance we need to do social awareness building about these problems next please and for this we need to do collaboration nationally and internationally national collaborations not only with the uh, institution like medical facilities but also with all other stakeholders like teachers can educate their girls during the schooling then to the religious leaders and also the social activists politicians policy makers everybody needs to be a uh, needs to be uh, addressed or needs to uh, educate about the awareness building to be among them also we also need to do international collaboration our patients are so ignorant when we ask these patients uh, what do why do you have these problems most of the patients told that it is my luck and many patients even the way they have been uh, they, they have been treated in the family in the society sometimes they feel that probably as it is told many times that you have been did some some seeing or some something wrong in your life for that god has given you the punishment fistula is a punishment and many patients believe that due to their some unknown fault they have this problems they're so innocent next please even the mothers mothers of the patients they also think they, they also tell that my i have four daughters she doesn't have these problems and this one has the problems probably she had done some something wrong that i don't know for that god has given this suffering and husband always most of the husband think that do they did the failed husbands fail to give them care during their intimate period during their intranatal period during the postnatal period even they think that the wives are at fault next next please and the policy next please next the policy makers think that fistula is not a priority we have many more priority hiv aids even gets priority and fire the victim has committed some sort of fault but fistula victims are completely innocent they don't have any fault but policy makers sometimes politicians and it is a it is a disease of the women it is the disease of the young women who doesn't have any voice it is the disease of the poor women so it is not really a big concern for the policy makers and also politicians so they also think it is next please next please next in conclusion i like to say that we may face a huge health burden for developing country including bangladesh the last study in 2016 in bangladesh just found that about 20000 women is still suffering from fistula and fistula is a serious scenario of neglect to women so it is the injustice to the women it should never be uh, actually it, it should all it should be addressed and it should not never be tolerated we should focus on it and and the focus in this issue those two we have already shown that the history is, is a very long long ago it has started but the focus is still not properly done focus on it and the focus only in this sense being a completely preventable disease how will one can accept that in these modern medicines to many still are suffering from these problems to make 
we have a dream to make this world peaceful and free. And to make that reality, we should act individually, we should act collectively and in collaboration, in collaboration nationally and also internationally to address this issue. And I will appeal to you all, you are the medical personnel. You know, you are the, you are the one who know about the fistula problems. Other stakeholders like policymakers, politicians, teachers, religious leaders, they don't know about it. And the other voice things to the voice is the uh, from the individual who is suffering. They're so ignorant, they're so innocent, they're illiterate. They don't have any voice. So it is the responsibility of we medical professionals to raise our voice, to increase the awareness among the policymakers, politicians. We have to bring all of them in the board. To address this, we alone cannot address. We can, uh, we can do the surgery, but for the surgery, the patient has to come, and the patient should not have. It has to prevent it, and we have to train the people. We have to do the surgery, and for each and everything, we need funds. So without the, without bringing all the stakeholders in the board, we will not be able to eradicate these problems. So we want a fistula in Bangladesh. The government already has declared to by 2030. The government also wants uh, declared that Bangladesh will be fistula free. But it is a real challenge. So my appeal to all of them: please let's work together so that we can bring suffering of our mother, suffering of our girls suffering of our sisters and give them a new life. When the women after fistula get cured, they don't have any more smell around them. They don't have leaking around them. They are clean. They can start their new life. They, when they have fistula, nobody give them job. When they cure from fistula, they get job. They can start new life. They also can have marry again or can have they move baby is a new family. So if you come beside that, you are the one who are helping, who is the part of this new happiness of the uh, innocent women of this world. On behalf of all my physical patients, I like to thank you. Thank you so much for hearing it. I may ask a today's lecture, I really mainly focus on the issues I know many of you uh, even don't know that maybe didn't get the chance to come in the inside of the fistula issue. If I get chance, next time I can I can go in details, especially for the postgraduate degree, the in details about the fistula issues. How as a medical professional, uh, so, solely what you can do, but that is not only that the doing fistula surgery is not by, by that we cannot claim that we have done our responsibilities. As it is such an issue, it is not women with the fistula, they always hide behind the behind the bush, behind the heart. They don't like to expose them in the uh, in, in, in front of people because they think everybody hates them due to their smell, everybody wants them. And sometimes people say, don't come here, go away. I like to finish with a story of one of my patients. This woman has fistula 55 years before. She, and she was told that her disease, she has a curse in her life due to her sin she has committed, and it is not curable. But at the age of 75, she came, she managed to come to treat her cataract operation. She had a cataract, she could not see, she was almost blind. So somebody, her son at that time was 55 years. Husband didn't give proper attention to her. Son brought her for the treatment of cataract. She was admitted in eye department and the patients in the female eye ward, 
they was due to her dismay. They told you can't stay here. Uh, let this woman get out of this room. When the, when the professor came, she also found very bad smell and he told her, oh, send it to Saiba. It is not our patient. Send her to Saiba so that she can do something for her. And so she was referred to our unit. I was so shocked when I examined the patient. You know, this very small fistula. It took me only, it took me only half an hour to repair that fistula. Can you imagine for that small fistula, this woman suffered 55 years of, this woman had lived with this incontinence, 55 years of her life, she could not pray properly, she could not do work, she, does, she didn't have any social life. And the day I operated on her, she, um, on the first post operated behind when I went for my postnatal visit, she hold my hand and just cried away, cried out and told Ma, after 55 years, I, I slept last night in a dry bed. It is a miracle in my life. I never could imagine that I can sleep in a dry bed. Even in the, in the very cold weather, I, I even doesn't use the blanket because when I use blanket, blanket becomes wet and I have to wash it, I have to dry it. It was a very big job for me. So I used to sleep covering with a, small, with a simple cloth, covering myself in this wet. I, I was completely wet in, the, in this very cold weather even. Can you imagine? The job of a medical person is only half an hour. And for that, women have suffered 55 years. Nobody has brought her for treatment this 55 years. She didn't have any opportunity. She is lucky that she had cataract and that brings her. At least if she leave for one year or five years more, she can sleep in a dry bed, can be a citizen of the civilized world, a new citizen of the civilized world, because she was thrown out of the society when she was having this incontinence. Thank you everybody for hearing this story of neglected women, but she is the mother of a human being like us. She is a human being. So we should consider fistula patients, they are also human, they have human rights also, they are also mother, they have, they have the reproductive rights also. So the right of this woman as a human, as a mother has been violated throughout the whole of her life since she had this So let's join with this poly, with this really, really important works by which we can at least we can at least acknowledge the problems, the suffering our mother, the contribution of our mother in her life, giving us, carrying her the pregnancy, going through the pain of labor, going through caring, going through the pain of caring us uh, from our childhood and brought up in our uh, in this in this field as a medical practitioner so doing this for the fistula is some sort of big prayer for our mother so i will my appeal to you i will invite all of you you at least a little effort by some or other way the way you can do to address this issue thank you so much Sound. Madam. Hello. Madam. I mean, last I mean, slight. Bolo. Madam, I mean, last I mean, slight to stop for the issue. I show by Apnar from Bunu Krista. Take the person. So, Apni Jodi, I can I mean, the Kishi Oniki join Ascent, Ekono. So, uh, Shabai, thanks, Janat Chapnake. 
আপনি যদি কারো কাছে কোনো কিছু জানতে চান অথবা যদি কোনো প্রশ্ন যদি আপনি কোনো প্রশ্ন করতে চায় তাহলে বলো আমি অ্যানসার দিতে পারবো আচ্ছা তাহলে আমি এখান থেকে পড়ে আপনাকে জানাচ্ছি ওদের সাথে কানেক্ট করা যায় না না কানেক্ট করা যাবে যদি আপনি আপনার ফেসবুক দিয়ে আমাদের গ্রুপের ভিডিওটাতে আপনি যদি জয়েন থাকেন তাহলে ভিডিওর কমেন্ট গুলো আপনি দেখতে পারবেন প্রায় এখানে আমাদের 280 টার মতো কমেন্ট চলে আসছে হ্যাঁ সেটা আমি কোথা থেকে দেখব ফেসবুকে গিয়ে দেখব হ্যাঁ হ্যাঁ আমি আপনাকে আমি আমি আপনাকে একটা লিংক পাঠাচ্ছি হ্যাঁ সেই লিংকে দেখতে পারেন আচ্ছা ঠিক আছে खुबी लज्जा जनक আমরা যে অন্য সময় ক্লাস নেই স্টুডেন্টদের সাথে কমিউনিকেট করতে পারি ওদেরকে দেখতে পারি যে কতজন পার্টিসিপেন্ট আছে এখান থেকে দেখতে পারি জি আপনি এখনো দেখতে পারবেন জাস্ট আপনি একটু কাইন্ডলি লিংকটা থেকে নিয়ে দেখতে পারবেন তুমি পাঠালে আমাকে বলো আচ্ছা হ্যাঁ এই তো আমাদের একাডেমির নাম কি এক্সিট এ এক্স আই টি এ এক্স আই এস सेंडिंग <laughs> चले फाइनेंसियल এরকম করে আমরা আমাদের پیشنটদেরকে ওদের দেখেছি যে খুবই খারাপ অবস্থায় আছে ওরা খেতে পাচ্ছে না অনেকে খুব খারাপ অবস্থায় তাদেরকে আমরা বিকাশের মাধ্যমে আমরা টাকা পাঠিয়েছি টাকা পাঠিয়েছি এবং তাদের এখন আমরা খোঁজ খবর নিচ্ছি इवन আমাদের আমরা যখন কোশ্চেনিয়ার দিয়ে তাদের কাছে প্রশ্ন জিজ্ঞেস করি 18% অফ দা پیشنটস বলেছে যে তাদের ইভেন সুইসাইডাল টেন্ডেন্সি হয়েছে যে এই অবস্থায় এমনিতে ওরা নেক দেখতে ওদের তো तीन अनुप्राणित रुगी 
একজনে জিজ্ঞেস করছি একটা ফিস ফুলের پیشنটের কস্ট কি রকম আমরা যখন আমাদের হাসপাতালে কিন্তু 100% ফ্রি আমাদের কারো যদি কোনো রোগী থাকে এটা হলো 15 নিউজ কার্টন আমাদের ফিস মাউস ইনস্টিটিউটে 15 নিউজ কার্টনে কুইন্স গার্ডেন টাওয়ার আছে ওইটার আটতলায় আমাদের হসপিটালটা সেখানে 100% ফ্রি پیشنটের চিকিৎসা থাকা খাওয়া সবই मैडम फिजिकलिकलिकल Best method of repair, actually, what we do is the tap splitting method. Long time, since long time, we are using the tap splitting method. We separate the vagina and bladder, give incision between the vagina and bladder, separate the bladder completely, separate it from the vagina. Then we repair the bladder first, and then we repair the bladder. Amma. আমার মনে হয় কি আর যদি क्वेश्चन না থাকে আমাদের আমরা আমরা শেষ করে দিতে পারি সবাইকে অসংখ্য ধন্যবাদ আর কারো কোনো প্রশ্ন থাকলে পরে তোমরা ইউ ক্যান রিচ মি ইউ ক্যান আস্ক মি ইউ ক্যান কন্টাক্ট উইথ মি এবং তোমাদের কারো কাছে যদি কোনো বিবিএফ پیشنট থাকে আমার যে پیشنটের কাহিনী বললাম যে ওকে ওর 55 বছর ভুগছে সেরকম যেন না হয় তোমরা পাঠিয়ে দিও একজন বলছি ক্যাথেটার কতদিন রাখতে হয় রিপেয়ার এর পর যদি সিম্পল ফিস্টুলা হয় আমরা সাধারণত 10 দিন থেকে 2 সপ্তাহ রাখি কিন্তু কমপ্লিকেটেড ফিস্টুলা হলে কিন্তু 3 সপ্তাহ রাখতে হয় কিছু কিছু پیشنটের আর বেশি দিনও রাখার দরকার হতে পারে তাহলে তোমাদের অসংখ্য ধন্যবাদ আমরা এখানে শেষ করি পরবর্তী আপনাকে অনেক সময় দেওয়ার জন্য ধন্যবাদ चेस्ट कर হ্যাঁ ডায়াবেটিস একজন জিজ্ঞেস করছে ডায়াবেটিস پیشنটদের হ্যাঁ ডায়াবেটিস پیشنটদের আমরা আমাদের অনেক ডায়াবেটিস پیشنট থাকে তাদেরকেও ডায়াবেটিসটা কন্ট্রোল করে আমরা ভিভিএফ রিপেয়ার করি হ্যাঁ ডায়াবেটিস সুবিধাও ভালো হয় আচ্ছা আরো কিছু প্রশ্ন দেখে নেই তারপর বন্ধ করি ওকে ওকে তাহলে যদি আরো প্রশ্ন থাকে প্রশ্ন বলতে পারে 5 মিনিট আমরা ওয়েট করি फिल्डे जीवन एक देखे जो भलो टाइम जो
ठीक है सर पहले हम लोग यू कैन लीव नाउ ठीक है सर थैंक यू सो मच जी थैंक यू अस्सलाम वालेकुम